Hey everyone, in this problem, we've been given a structure which has like four rhombuses whose side lengths are in the ratio 1 is to 3 is to 5 is to 7. And this end O is fixed. And this end, let's say C, is being pulled towards our right with a velocity V. And in this condition, we are required to find the velocity of point A and point B. So first and foremost, let's just define a coordinate system. So we know this length is 7L, right? So what would this length be? It will be 7L cos theta, right? Similarly, this length would be 5L cos theta. So basically, if I say this n, this length is 7X, this would be 5X, this would be 3X, and this would be simply X. So given this configuration, the X coordinate of C would be 2X plus the x coordinate of c would be 32x, right? And the x coordinate of a would be just x less than c or x here, right? So it will be 31x. So now we know the end c move towards the right with a velocity v. So we know dx c by dt is going to be v and xc we know it's 32x so this is going to be 32 times dx by dt equal to v and from here we get the relation that dx by dt is v over 32 and now we can as we know v, dx by dt it's easy to find let's say the point a of the rod hmm. let's join these two this point a we know is going to move towards our right and it's also going to be moving towards the mo moving in the downward direction. So let's say this velocity towards the right, let's name it as Vx and let's name this velocity as Vy. So we can get Vx as dxa by dt and dxa by dt is simply 31 times dx by dt, which would be 31 over 32 times v. So we have v Vx now. For finding Vy, we need to make use of the fact that the length of rod AC is constant. The length of rod AC is constant. So, and also there is one more thing. This angle theta is given in the question. So we can write the components of the velocity along the rod and equate both of them at ends A and C. So at end A, if we had to write the velocity of end A, point A along the rod, it would be Vx cos theta plus Vy sine theta, right? And the velocity along the rod <coughs> of end C would be V cos theta. So this would be equal to V cos theta. Now from here, if you solve, and if you see carefully, we can solve for Vy. So if I divide it by sine theta and take V cot theta outside, it will be one minus Vx. And Vx we know it's, we just found out to be 31 over 32 times V. So now if we solve for this, we'll get V cot theta divided by 32. This is the value for Vy. Now, as we got both of them, we can write the velocity of A in vector form as V by 32 31 i cap minus cot theta j cap. This is the velocity of A in vector form. And for finding velocity of point B, it is exactly the similar process. You just have to find the velocity of this point, let's say D, by using the coordinate system. Clearly, this point is only moving towards the right. So after finding that, the you just have to make, conserve the I mean, you make use of the fact that the length BD is constant, just exactly the same process that we followed for point A. So that was this video. Thanks for watching, guys. And please like, share.